Hello there, my flock. The Bad Raven here in the new Bad Raven's Nest. And I am so excited. I finally got all my movies in that I ordered for Black Friday some days before, some days of, and maybe one thrown in there that wasn't even a Black Friday pick, but I just, I got it at the same time, so I'm gonna do it on here. I am so thankful this Thanksgiving that's passed to be lucky enough to be able to be here for another year and be able to, to talk to you, the, the flock. So we're going to jump right into these actual pickups that I got. And I'll start out first with the Black Friday one that's not quite Black Friday. And that is Friday the 13th Part 4 on Steelbook. I've been collecting, if you don't know, I've been collecting the Steelbooks for the Friday the 13th for a while, the Part 1, 2, and 3. And I just absolutely love this series of movies. And... This one is a great pickup. I think I got it for like $16, something like that. And it was getting really hard to find because I guess they are starting to run out of stock. And I wanted to make sure I get all the still books of all that they release. Hopefully they'll end up releasing the whole entire set of these. I'll go ahead and un open this up. Of course you got your J card got the the front of course the spine and on the back behind the J card Jason's body has disappeared from the morgue and we know that famous scene of the actual morgue and everything that happens to them all right we'll do an opening here a digital code and the disc I've already got this disc a thousand times that's not the big thing. It's mostly the artwork on the back that I really like. Not the morgue scene itself. Awesome scene. I'm going to take the disc out to show the other half of it. Eh, not much on the other half. Just stimulation of the actual art. Eh, really cool. Glad to add this to my steelbook collection. Me and the Drew Drop has to get some more plastic sleeves for all these. But that is Friday the 13th, part four, steelbook. Awesome. All right, now don't judge me on this pick for this one. Is All the rest of these are all Black Friday picks. There's five of them. And don't judge me big, big time on this movie. I, I didn't really care much for it. And say, why did you buy it, Bad Raven? Why did you buy a movie you didn't care for? Well, I kind of want to revisit it. And for the price, it was like $6.95 or something on 4K. For the actress in it alone is worth seeing her. That was Leah Thompson as the actress in this. And it is Marvel's Howard the Duck. Uh, written, I think it may be written by George Lucas. I know it was directed by George Lucas. That Leah Thompson is in it right there. You see her face on the actual cover there. And there is the spine. And there is the back. And that is, it came with a slip cover. Can you believe it? It's a clover and everything. So I, I was glad I got this because as soon as I bought and put this in my cart and paid for it, I checked the next day and it was up to 30 some dollars. Crazy. I, I don't know how, I would definitely, definitely not buy it for that, even for 10, but with, Six ninety five. I can have it. And there's the outside cover. Let's open this one up. All right, this is outside of the slip cover. Front, spine, and the back, just like the slip cover itself. Another digital code. And we have the Blu-ray and the 4K right there. No artwork on the back, of course. Most 4Ks don't have it, but it's, like I say, still one. So that's Howard the Duck, the first pickup I picked up. Great price. But this is a movie I don't know if I'll watch a lot, but I really like it because it does. the ending really is 
unique. If you ever watch these mo this movie, I think you will agree with me with that, and if you've already watched it, and that is the mist. Now this comes with a comes with the actual looks like the Blu-ray, the digital, and the 4K. And I think both two 4Ks. One is black and white, and one is color. I personally would love the color. I've not watched it in black and white, but I'm a colorized man. I love the coloring of uh, the movie, so I would definitely probably enjoy that. And this one was like 11 something. I'm going to say 11 55, something like that. And I was debating on it, whether I should or not, so I ended up buying it with the Howard the Duck. Uh, and one thing about the Howard and du the Duck and this one, they came together and they were gone. They, my first track started tracking it, it was up in Pennsylvania, where it started from. Then it went down to Knoxville, and I think the next thing it's going to go up into Kentucky. No, it goes all the way to California. It vacations out in California for at least five days before it comes back to Georgia and then goes up from Georgia to, to uh, Nashville, then heads up to Knoxville, then goes back to Kentucky. So it took 10 full days to get here for these two movies. If they were not damaged or anything, I can't complain. And I got slip covers for both, which is great. And this is the front of it, the spine, and the back. And we'll open it up. It's a really thick um, box, or I guess because it's got the four discs in it, and they wanted to make sure it didn't, I mean, it held them all. So that's always a good positive. That's without the plastic on it. Like that artwork. The spine and the back. Open it up. Here's the digital copy again. We got a disc that's out of it, so I didn't hear it uh, rattling, so I guess it's not scratched. Okay, you got, this is the mess, I guess assume the color version in front, so I got the piece broke, I held that disc in, and you know, you can tell the difference with the, the black and white one, black and white one, actual disc art, and then you got the Blu-ray, which is cool, they have the Blu-ray color version and the Blu-ray black and white version. So that's neat that I gave you four different discs for that. Great pickup for $11. The Mist. You will love this movie. I say love. It's very dark. Okay. Another pickup I was waiting to get. I was let a lot of these end up going on sale because I always tell Brew Drop I'm gonna wait till Black Friday when these come out earlier in the year because I want to get them for around 10 bucks. Some of them do end up going down to 10, some of them don't. There was a lot of movies this year that did not go down to $10. They skirted the outskirts of 11, 13, 15 dollars, and I did not get some of those. But this one dropped down to $9.99, and that is Cool Hand Luke. I don't have this in my collection, especially not 4K. I really enjoyed this movie. I remember seeing this on regular TV back in the day and falling in love with it. It's a drama by all drama means, but if you um, like Paul Newman, it's a very great role for him. I don't know if he won an Oscar for this one or not. And I was lucky to get a slip cover with that, so that's great. There it is. I'm gonna take off this to show you the entire box. Okay. So without the plastic, there's the front cover, Paul Newman in the jail, working out on the field. Has some very good working out in the field scenes, <laughs> especially with a girl washing a car. Uh, you'll see that if you know anything. There's the, the spine, and there is the back. Great egging scene in that too. All right, let's go ahead and open it up. Racking up on the digital codes. Now the 
artwork looks pretty plain, but at least they have a little stuff at the bottom. It's got the, the blue rip course and the 4K, and you got the men chasing him down with the dogs. Really, really nice, even though it doesn't have special art, but that's special enough. And that is Paul Newman's Cool Hand Loop. Check it out if you like a good drama. You like Paul Newman. I think you will not be not be dissatisfied for sure. And another one I was waiting for to drop, and luckily it did. And that's Jaws too. I've got the original Jaws on 4K. And this one will complete the, that part of this thing. I know there's more to go, come, but I'm saying this is the second one. The first two I really love. The third one's a guilty pleasure, and the fourth one is not anything I care about. But I'd probably add it to the collection just to add it. We got the actual front here and beautiful slip. I was lucky on the slips this year. Of course, the same as the one. I wish the way they had the different artwork on the actual this thing itself, and then you could have like two competing things. But I always liked the, the theatrical posters for sure. So I'll never say no to a theatrical poster being on a disc. Some of the new artwork that they do is good. Some of it I could care less for. A lot of the shell factories, I do like some of them when they do the art on it, but sometimes it just gets like it's really busy with all the stuff going on in it. So that's why I usually go back to the original postcard. We got the front. I love that shot of the shark coming up. The girl on the skis. You got the logo on the side. Then you have the back. Inside. I think I have the original Blu-ray there of this one already. I don't know. I think this is a remastered. I'm pretty sure it is in Jaws 2. And leave in a comment what you know about it. Love the artwork there. And that is Jaws 2. One more to go, and this is a great family favorite. Loved this ever since I've seen it. I think I watched it. I'm not sure if I don't think I watched it at the theater, but that is National Lampoon's Vacation, the original, the one that started it all. Chevy Chase, spectacular right here. Really, really love this movie. John Candy, the whole the whole nine yards in it. Uh, Beverly D'Angelo, the two kids. Uh, the names are uh, escaping me now. Please comment. But the names of the two kids. But Anthony Michael Hall's one. I don't know about the girls. Got to take it the slip. All right, that's the front, just like the slip. Nine buckaroonies, nine ninety nine for this. And there it is, and it's beautiful glory. That that's all right on the front. I, I would have liked just the original artwork. You can tell this has been photoshopped all together, but four K for nine ninety nine. Who can complain? That's a spine, and that is the back. One disc, and that's the 4K. I guess that's the reason it's so cheap. And very plain 4K, indeed. But at least it is a 4K for a great price. The plain Jane vacation. Right. And that is vacation. All right, that is my haul for Black Friday 2023. I am really, really happy with it. I can't say how much more happier I can be, but there it is in all of its glory. All the movies, awesome pickups, I think. Been kind of a slow Black Friday pickup. 
the last one for Best Buy. Walmart just had books. Target is going out of the business on it too, so go to niche market and go from there, I guess. Still happy I got these, even if it is the last time I'll probably have a, a haul like this for Black Friday, unless it's from the actual boutique labels. Tell me what you got on your hauls for this Black Friday. I was glad to hear what you picked up. There was one that kind of eluded me, and that was Evil Dead Rise. I kind of liked the movie. As you can tell by my review, you can check it out on my channel for the Evil Dead. I, it got down really low, but I, I still didn't know if I would watch it enough to really consider buying. And people say, well, what about Howard the Duck? You're probably not watching it much, but it was like all the way down to six. I say if that one would have got down to six, Evil Dead Rise, I would have bought it too. I was kind of iffy on it. Just uh, tell me what you thought of the movies I picked up. If you like any of those, what's your comments on any of the ones there? I would, I would gladly like to hear what you have to say on it. Please like, share, and subscribe. Share this with your friends on social media, on TikTok, on all the different platforms, X, Instagram, Facebook, all that you got there, I would be greatly happy. We're on a road to a thousand subscribers. We're getting closer and closer to that goal right now. And whatever you do, telling your friends would be greatly appreciated here at the Bad Raven channel. Check out the merch. We got the Drew Drop merch. We got the Bad Raven merch with a new label, everything. We've got all kinds of different stuff, cups, hats, stickers, magnets, anything you want. It would be really uh, good for the channel. It would be a way to support the Bad Raven and Drew Drop. If you want to find a way to support us, that would be great. Always remember the Bad Raven is your friend, and we appreciate you here on the Bad Raven channel. We're running along. We're going to let you go, and we'll talk at you later, and goodbye.